So I am going to just Behemoth Blade so I don't risk the miss, because missing loses me the game. Oh, okay, we didn't... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Plus three Zacian is still really, really good. All right, everybody, it is time for Regulation G. Almost. We are a couple weeks away. I'm recording. Today's the 11th. Um, it's going to go live on May 1st, I believe. Don't quote me. Um, but it's going to be our first format, official format, in Gen 9 with restricted Pokemon. So today, I thought I would put together a little test team for you guys to use if you are interested. And we're going to be trying out Zacian today. As well as some other sets that I had talked about in my discussion video of what I think Regulation G is going to look like for 3v3. I'll link that video in the description below if you uh, want to see my first discussion video on the channel. Regardless, I talked about a lot of these Pokemon in this video, or in the previous video, pardon me. But let's get right into it. First and foremost, this is my favorite Zacian set right here. Um, holding the Rusted Sword, so that gives us Zacian Crown, which gives us better stats. Um, Iron Head becomes Behemoth Blade, which in this game is just a 100 base uh, power move. Um, it's not Iron Head as it reads, but Sub and Swords Dance is my favorite. There's going to be a little bit of status. Um, and we're Terra Fire. I think Terra Fire gives you the best defensive... I, I want to say that you're still weak to ground. That's a given. But we have some other answers to ground type Pokemon on this team. Like Walking Wake, for example. That's Scarf Walking Wake with Hydro Steam. So uh, I like Terra Fire. Gets you around the Will-O-Wisp. Gets you around um, just fire moves in general. I uh, got Chen Pao here. Terra Ghost. I like that for extreme speed, extreme speed Pokemon. Ice Spinner, because there's going to be a lot more terrain with Muridon running around, so we're going to break up that terrain. Crunch, Sucker Punch, and Sacred Sword with a Focus Sash. Uh, and then this is a max speed and max HP Flutter Mane. We're going with the more tricksy kind of charm set, a little more defensive, a little more team support, which I think is going to be the best Flutter Mane set. And then as I mentioned earlier, we've got Walking Wake here. Um, just a nice Scarf pivot Pokemon. It puts on a lot of pressure, especially in weather, so you can flip turn around and find yourself a good matchup. Uh, Landorus, this is just max speed, max HP. That's a, This team is all max max. There's no Poke pace for this team, guys, because it's all max max. It's all max speed and attack, max speed and special attack. Um, and then the Flutter Mane is max speed uh, and max HP. Um, so this is actually a max adamant, I believe, if I remember correctly. Landorus, it could be Jolly. I don't know. Don't quote. I'm pretty sure it's Jolly. Uh, but yeah, it just it's just a Pokemon that slaps and spreads Intimidate. The Assault Vest makes it really bulky. And then last but not least, we've got Talonflame. Just another thing I'm trying out. I had Ninetales here because I expected a lot of weather, but I just never found myself bringing Ninetales. There's never like a good time. I never felt, I've never felt like there was a time that was good to bring Ninetales because it's faster than all of the weather setters. So... If you both start turn one with your weather setter, which you should never do, you should always kind of pack your weather in the back, um, you lose that weather war immediately. So uh, not always the best. So I went with a taunt option and a defog so we can taunt annoying things like Drift Blim and Screamtail, and then we can defog away screens that we might find um, and then just U-turn around. So guys, um, like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I play um, singles 3v3s and singles 6v6. I'm kind of curious what you guys want to see. Um, you guys still want to see the regular Wi-Fi 6v6s now that Regulation G has started. I will definitely still do them, but I'm just like wondering to what capacity. Like, what do you guys want to see? The way I've been doing it on Wi-Fi, do you want to see some more like Smogon tier-based battles? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, let's get on to the games. I'm very excited to show off my favorite Zacian set. All right, Shadow Rider, Skeledurge. There's a lot of stuff I don't want to see here. So we kind of need Chen Pao. They have so many good potential leads. Lando would be the worst for us. So I think we go here to start. I don't hate Ferrum. Um, we definitely bring this, and we definitely bring this, I think. These are the ones I've kind of been leaning on a lot. Um, in my 
initial practicing is uh, Zacian, Chen Pao, and a little bit of uh, Super Suicune. Old school Suicune. Prehistoric Suicune. So we'll see. See what they bring. Skeldurge is a really big problem. All right, we're battling Eevee. Rillaboom lead, okay. We don't hate this. I am tempted to flamethrower. I mean, they gotta know we have it, right? We'll do it once. See what happens. Okay, they're definitely a salt fest. They are definitely a salt fest. Okay. So I feel like now we could probably just flip turn potentially. Yeah, we'll flip turn. Okay. Skeldurge maybe. Ooh, went right to it. Trying to pick up a little KO and just get a little sweepy sweep like that. I see. So we will bring out Chen Pao. Threaten them with a dark move. See if maybe we can get them to Terra here. They're leftovers. Okay. Uh... I'm actually going to Ice Spinner. Yep. Just in case they do something like this. Perfect. This Pokemon actually puts in tons of pressure against this team, so... Beautiful. And we get rid of the terrain, but I suppose the Rillaboom really will just bring it back next turn. The most important thing right now is that we maintain our focus sash. So honestly, I think we're just going to walking wake here. Honestly, just sack it because we don't need it anymore. We don't really care. I'm hoping to bait out a Terra this turn. I'm hoping the threat of a dark move will get them to Terra. Okay, perfect. There we go. And then we can kind of just gauge what it is. Is it fairy? Yeah, it is fairy. Okay. I kind of thought it might be. I think fairy and normal are going to be the best tarot for this Pokemon. It's leech seed. Huh. Very strange. It's a bulky leech seed set. But, at the, but now they just lose to Zacian, so... It's fine. So I'll Hydro Steam once. Substitute? Okay. Leech Seed, Substitute, maybe Calm Mind. This is a lot more annoying than the standard set. A lot more annoying. Leech Seed, Sob, Terra Fairy. I'm just going to keep Hydro Steaming here. Okay, they do have Astral Barrage. Alright, so now I'm not doing any calcs this video, so... We're gonna see. We're gonna see if Zacian can live a plus one Astral Barrage. It's all in the name of testing. But this guy just, just kind of wins from here. Like, they have to stay in, they have to Astral Barrage. 
Okay, yeah, it's bulky set. But it doesn't matter. Does not matter. No match for Zacian. And then, yeah, we kind of just clean up Rillaboom. We never lose to Rillaboom. Even if it's high horsepower. All right, battle's canceled. There we go. First game of Regulation G, and Zacian is putting in work already. GG's to our opponent. All right, we've got a Dialga team. Oh, this looks... This looks pretty annoying. Um, yeah, there's a lot of annoying stuff going on here. Oh, I suppose we go here first so we can taunt the Drift Blim and stop any of those shenanigans. We need this. And what else do we need? How do we beat? How do we beat the thing? The catfish. Hmm. Um, I think maybe I just hope they don't bring it. And potentially just go with like Fluttermane or something. Fluttermane. Maybe I do just bring Fluttermane. It's only good against two of their Pokemon, but. Then we're, we're really riding on Zacian here if we do that. But. Oh well, maybe it's the play. We'll see. We'll see. We don't have a good answer for Don Dozo. Unless just, unless Zacian is just good enough in general, but I I don't know if I don't know if Zacian can one v one it. All right, so this we have to just heat wave. We can't taunt this right now. It's got prankster. It might even taunt us. Oh, okay, they withdraw. Smart. I guess. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna taunt this guy. Heavy slam. All right, he was predicting the, uh, he was predicting. So yeah, okay. He was predicting Fluttermane. Interesting, I like it. Heavy, heavy slam, I like it, that's cool. Heavy slam again. Does nothing. And I think we're just going to play rough from here. And we'll just, uh, we'll see. Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. They have Fissure. Alright. I'm I'm wondering if this is like a salt vest or something. Um I'll sub once. Oh no, let's not terra fire. I'm gonna sub once. Just to waste a couple of their fissures. Oh yawn. Okay, yawn fissure. Heavy slam. Yawn fissure heavy slam. It's gotta be liquidation then. Or protect. Heavy Slam. And 
And we should be good. We should... It might even take three heavy slams. I don't think I like heavy slam anymore. <laughs> it's not doing like any damage. They are going to stall out a lot of our play roughs though. Alright, we're still hanging on. What is the last move? Is it protect? I'm curious. Lower his attack, please. I wonder if it's rest. And then we'll sub again. Heavy slam. Alright, so hopefully two more play routes will do the trick here. We don't... Yeah, we definitely want to hold on to... Um, some of the PP on this in case he's got Dialga on the back. Alright, well if they don't have... Come on, play rough, don't let me down. Don't let me down, don't let me down. Let's go. <laughs> okay. If they don't have curse or rest, then you can maybe 1v1. I wonder who the last one is. Uh, yeah, we'll just Behemoth Blade here. And they're dead. Huh, no Focus Sash. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that was. All right, there's Dialga himself. Mm. Yeah, we have to, we have to SD, unfortunately. And they are going to Terra, so hopefully it's something that's weak to steal. Oh, it's Dragon. That is the worst Terra they could have gone with. Why would you go Terra Dragon when you just see me spamming play rough? I'm, I'm just, I'm curious. Earth power, okay. And it's life orb, okay. See now? Okay. I'm gonna make an educated decision here, okay? I have Moonblast in the back on my Fluttermane. Indeed I do. So I am going to just Behemoth Blade so I don't risk the miss, because missing loses me the game. Oh, okay, we didn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Plus three Zacian is still really, really good. Doesn't even matter. All right, two and zero. Oh. Zacian putting in tons of work again. Let's see if we can make it three and zero oh for the vid. GGs, GGs. All right, no, no Uber in this one. So it looks like we're going up against the regulation F team. Can we put it together and beat this squad? Let's let's find out, folks. Uh, this is a great lead and just great in this game in general. Although I am a little bit worried if they lead with... Um, I'm expecting Ogre Pond. But if they go with um, the cat, it's not good. We have to bring our star... Zacian. 
Mm. I think we have to bring this. Oh, they're going to put rocks up. But we have Terra Ghost. I don't know, man. Whatever. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. This is a good regulation G team that they're running. Not G. F. I don't know my alphabet. It's late, guys. I usually record at night after my kids go to bed, so. Alright, poor Floatzel getting his face covered by the uh, blueberry shield. Ursula Luna Lee, okay. Not what I expected at all. Hmm. Almost kind of, uh, kind of scary, honestly. Well, Earthquake. Immediate Terra, what do we got? Terra Normal? Okay, Terra Normal. So they're going for the big Blood Moon here. Big, big Blood Moon. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, this might still knock us out, to be perfectly honest. And their leftovers, okay. We might have our work cut out for us here, folks. Well, we're faster, so I guess we just need to roll. And I don't want to burn my Terra yet, so I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Ooh. And they get Moonlight. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Huh. You know, now feels like a great, a great time to burn my Terra. <laughs> now is a great time to burn my Terra, I think. You, you really pulled my leg there, Ursaluna. You really convinced me. I, I, I think I'll burn my Terra now. Thank you so much. All right, let's see if we regret it. Although I do want to save this Pokemon's Intimidate, but I don't know how important that really is. We burn Terra, but we're up Amon. And in 3v3s, that doesn't always mean anything. Oh, not Ogre Pond. Okay, this is kind of scary. Um, but... Mm, 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 mm. Go rock slide, see if we can flinch them. They are adamant. They're getting flinched. Horn leech. Ooh. That was a lot of damage. If they have quick attack, that's a bummer. So this should KO from here. Sweet. Who's next? Dragonite? It is Dragonite. Okay. Oh, they're not even gonna... Where did Landris go? He's gone. And that should be it. Yeah, we have Icicle Spinner. We have Ice Spinner instead of Icicle Crash, so not like we can miss. And we got the Sash, so. No, no Zassy in this time, but we did get a nice little 3-0 run on this video, so. We got to show off some Pokemon that I thought were going to be decent in this format. And we got to see a lot of Pokemon that are still going to be decent. Oh, Rocky Helmet. Okay. I respect it.
I respect it. But that is going to do it for the battles. GG's to our opponent. GG's. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I think Zacian is going to be a pretty solid Pokemon in regulation G. Um, I mean, it was so good and so dominant in 8th gen. I just can't see a reason why it wouldn't be in 9th gen. So hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you want to see next. Regulation G. I will be doing some more 6v6 as well, but I'll be prepping for Regulation G to give you guys some videos and uh, show off some restricted Pokemon. But I'm going to go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, peace.